Hello, I am in listeners and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis and today we have received our third weekly content drop in the anniversary and it's not a big one because we have gone third and last Knights of Judgment event updates and also it's a, a rather very small one because we have gone no new co-op stages so no new crystals here but also very few new solo battle stages so ruin ex2 with that eligor icon and also stage 23 once a day which you definitely should be doing every day because it's stamina free but also you can max out on on that daily with those silver wheels but also if you scroll down to stage 13 it's the same case it's once a day so stamina free and you can get those gold wheels so you can get those all those dailies without spending any stamina but also we have gone new wallpaper if you come if you get 20,000 silver wheels with Zack and also the second store which is also very nice and especially nice because it has the same currency so you need silver medals if you farmed a little bit too much last week now you have to farm less to, to buy out the store but it's five star guaranteed weapon gacha ticket is great those four star guaranteed and normal gacha tickets 10 of them mithril ore and also the synth catalysts the, the purple ones this is amazing but I think most important out of this store is 20 micro cubes and Gino Megapus, because how limited this currency is. But unfortunately, in this store there are, there are no silver, sorry, mithril ingots. In this first silver wheel store, we have gotten 10 of them, but unfortunately here just 20 mithril, which is great, but no silver ingots. So unless you have both those very expensive packs with 10 mithril ingots then it means we still can level up to to level 20 only one weapon in the game however the second update that we have gotten the new second content is the returning crisis dungeons and it's macro reactor one papa the sea cave Lokes ruins and copine caverns and all of those dungeons they will be available until Mar uh, until april 30th so over a month it's great for new players but it also it's very bad for all old players long time players because we have already gotten them return in january i already done guides on them so if you want you can just look them up and they are there but yeah it's it's great for new players because you can get those crystals and medals but for long time players there's no new dungeon currently, nothing. There are only those four for 40 days, but nothing else for us, nothing new. But yeah, if you want, you can get an, if you missed them last time, you can get S plus on them. Now they are very easy. But other than that, we have also gotten a new limit break banner with Sephiroth and Zack. But also remember, next week we are getting a new event, new anniversary event, so we also should get a third limit break banner. At least that's what I'm expecting and it will be just as limited because it's part of the anniversary, so that would be very consistent. So keep that in mind. But also we have received a new info about the upcoming chapter, which should be around week five so in two weeks and it's unfortunately yet another time the ff7 chapter so a new story but it's very unfortunate and i'm not very happy with it at all because they are skipping crisis core yet again and it's very annoying that they keep shoving crisis core to the side yet again because in january it was the same the same situation we should have gotten crisis core i think or first soldier but they are just keep shoving those first soldier and crisis core to the side just to give us more ff7 and i personally am looking most forward to first soldier and then crisis core but it is what it is but also because we are getting getting the ff7 new chapter it means there's a high possibility that we can get 
Kate Sith in there. So new playable unit because Kate Sith is next. And if they do a big chapter and they rush things like last time, there's a very high possibility we get playable Kate Sith because he's next in the story, not too far. So that's what I'm expecting. But new limit break banner. Zack and Sephiroth, it is a very good banner. Also those costumes and those weapon animations, they are amazing. But it's a little bit different than the Cloud and Glenn, but because it's magic. However, I will do a re reviews in a separate video, but also we have gotten a new store and I don't think I have said much about... I don't remember, but... That crystal boost, I think it's they refreshed it. I'm not sure, I, I never looked at it, but now we also have the Half Anniversary Volume 2, which is a great, honestly, because that's gacha ticket for 300 crystals. That is a steal, because that's five star weapon. Random weapon, but for 3000 crystals. All those offers were for 3000 red, 300 red crystals, they are always amazing. But also, Premium tickets, 20 of them, I don't know if you want to get that, but Half Anniversary Volume Pack 7, this is baiting us, because 20, 20 dollars for 15 of those, so you, you're halfway there, but also you get some crystals, that is nice, but those are very expensive, 10 mithril ingots, just 10, and but it's a lot of red crystals, so for big bigger spenders, I think, that's $70, but it's a lot of crystals, so you get basically almost 11,000 red crystals and then 2,000 blue crystals as a bonus, and then those 10 mithril ingots as a bonus as well, because that's the price for 11,000 crystals. That's very nice, honestly, but... I already bought that pack with Zack and Sephiroth parts, weapon parts, and also here there's Sephiroth, the same as Zack, so we can get 100 Zack weapon parts, 20 Zack gacha tickets, and 1 Zack gacha ticket, 5 star weapon guaranteed for 300 red crystals, and that is honestly a very good price, and I, I got Sephiroth because I... I work on Sephiroth but I would say this is those two that are the best value out of this whole pack if you have red, red crystals if not so I would say honestly if you are a bigger spender this silver this mithril ingot is great as well but yeah that should be it I think and also yeah that there's volume two of I think it costs 1500 yeah 1500 crystals if you want but it's only separate and Zack exclusive weapons that are that you can get here so it's it's not many weapons so you have a higher chance to get the weapons you want because it's just so few of them Zack doesn't have a lot of weapons Sephiroth also doesn't have too many weapons so you have a much bigger chance than for example paying here in the step up draw but step up draw has those 10 mithril ingots which is much more interesting than this one in my opinion so if you were to pull with red crystals i think this step up draw is much more interesting because of those mithril here in both loops but yeah i think that's that should be it so thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next one